yo what is going on everybody welcome back to another video so if you follow me on twitter the rumors are true you saw the title of this video splinter cell is in early development right now the rumors seem to be true everybody is picking it up twitter is kind of blowing up with it it seems that ubisoft is trying to get back uh what they've lost though almost a decade ago with sam fisher and, and put him in his own game finally not not trying to reimagine what Splinter Cell could be with VR or mobile platforms or pushing him into Ghost Recon games and Rainbow Six games. No, Sam Fisher is going to get the game he deserves. A new Splinter Cell game. Let's hope, guys. Splinter Cell doesn't necessarily mean Sam Fisher now, does it? Ubisoft might have a way to ruin it. But let's hope it's not Sarah Fisher or any BS like that. Uh, I will say this. I think in this game... We do need to see Fisher transition from him to someone else. I'm hoping it's Briggs since we've already established his character in Splinter Cell Blacklist. Briggs, I think, would be someone good to, to take over the franchise. We do have a quote, right? So from Vives Guillemot. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if I, if I butchered a name. I'm just some, some ignorant American who doesn't know how to read French names. You can correct me in the, uh, <laughs> in the comments how to say Yves Guillemot. 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 Uh, so he said, when you create a game, you have to make sure you will come with something that will be different enough from what you did before. I don't know how the CEO says this. And then yet every Ubisoft game is the same. It, it, it's, it's very weird. It's almost like Ubisoft just says shit and then never does it. The last time we did a Splinter Cell, we had lots of pressure from all the fans actually saying, don't change it. Don't do this. Don't do that. Some of the teams were more anxious to work on the brand. And that is true. Us fans, we 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 can really mess things up, man. A lot of you, uh, a lot of you guys out there, myself included, sometimes maybe we expect too much. Maybe we expect things not to change. Sometimes change is good, sometimes change is bad. As we could see with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, some of the change was bad, maybe some of the change was good, but developers need to figure out, you know, that fine line between both to really kind of rebrand uh, one of their ips if they want to do so uh, so uh he went on to continue to say now there are some things and some people that are now looking at the brand uh, and, and they want to take care of the brand so at one point you will see something but i can't say more than that uh so i don't know i guess i guess maybe he has some people within ubisoft looking at this brand and they're saying hey i think we can do something with this i just hope it's not the purple people leaders uh please keep your hands off my splinter cell I just hope my Michael Ironside comes back. I hope it stays true to the roots and the core of the, of the gameplay. I hope they can reimagine what stealth uh, gameplay can be in Splinter Cell. I would like to see where they were going with Splinter Cell back in the day before it kind of transitioned into Watch Dog Legions with Fisher really being like almost Jason Bornish, John Wickish. Not, not so much blood and gore, but to have the skills in CQC to do some real cool shit. I think that would be that would have been cool to see maybe Fisher move into within the Splinter Cell games when he gets really close it's not just a head grab and a pistol to the head. You know, maybe he can do some really cool CQC stuff in certain situations, but I don't know. We'll see what they try to reimagine. So uh yeah, so we're going to be waiting on a new Splinter Cell uh and that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? What do you think? It's in early development. It's in the early stages of development. So we really don't know how far along they are. We just know it's not a spin off. The game is in the early phase of production. It could be announced perhaps next year. And if it's announced next year, I would think maybe they would want to release it the year after 2023. But then you never know because they announced the division in 2013. And when did the division drop? 2016. So I'd rather they don't announce something with and don't show me fake footage than announce something with fake footage and get everybody hyped up for some, you know, downgrade later on. But that's all, ladies and gentlemen, Splinter Cell officially coming back. What do you think about that? Uh, I would hate to I would hate to think these rumors are not true when you have every publisher in the industry picking it up. Uh, GameSpot, I think PC Gamer, I think IGN will probably pick it up. I didn't see anything from IGN yet, but it's out there, man. It's in the Twitterverse. Let me know what you think below. 
I'm excited. I, I, I've been excited the past 10 years every time I get a whisper that there might be a new Splinter Cell. So we'll see what's up. Anyway, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm out of here. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.